Well, one of the big races we're all anticipating here is the men's 5,000 metres. And a really terrific lineup, obviously, including the Olympic champion, Kinesia Bakila, who, well, I suppose you could say destroyed the 10,000 metres earlier in the championships. He lines up now. A big field of 16 runners spread over the two echelons. And obviously to watch there is Kipchoge. Two Olympic medals, two World Championship medals. All before his 21st birthday. There's Bekele. Always looks relaxed. If anything, I would say that this is probably his weakest event if he's got one, Rob. Yeah, I would agree with that, Steve. But to be honest, he made the 10,000 look easy. But this man, Bernard Legat, he came here as the double defending champion over 1,500 and the 5,000. Got the bronze in the 15 and he'll want to hang on to this crown, but it is about Bikaili, although, Steve, you made an interesting point just a moment or two ago uh, before we started uh, talking about it. If it's a slow pace, other guys come into the action because Legat's still got the speed as Bikaili gets introduced there, big rule. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, he got beaten by El Garouge in that wonderful Olympic final, didn't he, in a slow race. It might happen as Mo Farah of Great Britain, one of the one of the big hopes for Great Britain in this race. And here's you get Kipchoge. Now, Kipchoge chased him all the way home in Rome, just a couple of tenths a second behind the big man. And he's a real class act, this boy. So he is really going to be the one, maybe, of the Kenyans. And there's a good uh, three of Kenyans, Ibuya, Kipchoge, and Chekhov, who could really threaten the possibility, and I always say it's a possibility, of beating the great man himself. We've got uh, six of the first seven from 2007. Tegan Camp, we just saw, he was fourth last time. Very good uh, three of the uh, Americans, obviously, with Lagat now running for America. He lines up with Tegan Camp and Selinski also there. So the Americans have done well. They've got three men in this final. So. All the preparations over now. The referee just brings them to the uh, stagger. On your marks. And they're off. 13 and a half laps here of the Olympic Stadium will decide who is the world champion at the 5,000 metres. Bekele looking across to see where the others on the outside are, and Legat is perhaps going to be the leader as they come across now. The pace, dawdling, to say the least. Bekele would enjoy this. He likes to uh, dominate, dictate the pace. And as we all sit in that 10,000 metres, Rob, he is the man to beat over the last 400. Oh, he's, he's absolutely superb. I think when he won the 5,000 last year at the Olympics, he ran the last mile in something like 3.58 as the uh, three Americans tuck in there, that's Solinsky with the uh, long socks. He's on the shoulder of, uh, well, just behind uh, Kenanisa Bekele there. So 3.58 for the last mile when he won the title last year in Beijing. That is not hanging around at all. Well, no, I think also in that last mile, he was building up each lap. So the first two laps of that mile that he recorded were slow. Then he came home faster and faster. That's where the damage is done. Zelensky just behind him on the outside. It's Chepkuk, the other Kenyan. And you can just see there the Gat biding his time just behind Turgen Camp, the other very good American, in about fourth or fifth place. And they're coming up to the kilometre point here. 254.35, very slow. Very, very slow indeed. And one disconcerning uh, athlete there I suppose is Mo Farah, the Great Britain athlete at the back of the field, I mean he was thought to be a, a major contender by the British coaches but at the moment languishing two or three metres off the back but that doesn't mean much really because Abuya is also there No, and Farah has run a 3.33.500 metres this year so I hope it doesn't mean very much he was actually sixth um, two years ago Well Bikaili's just uh, Spreading them out a little bit now, Abuya going up onto his shoulder. That was a 65-second lap there. Solinsky, the American with the long white socks, he's in third place. Farah, as you said, off the back at the moment. One other Ethiopian, just to mention, is Ali Abdosh. Uh, he's towards the back of the field at the moment, but those of you who watch the heats will remember that Abdosh was 
knocked over in that and uh, bravely tried to come back in. He didn't qualify automatically, but he was reinstated for the final because it was felt that uh, he was impeded. But uh, Ibuya there on the shoulder of Bekele, the Ethiopian at the front. And as you can see there, there are beginning to be a few casualties. Collis Birmingham off the back with Mo Farah, Abdosh, the tiny Ethiopian, trying to stay in contention with that group. And having said they were spreading out, I think maybe Bekele slowed down just a tiny bit. There's Ibuya, the Kenyan in third, Selinski in fourth, the Eritrean up on the outside, Medin. 13 there. That's Bernard Legat, the defending champion, tucked in on the inside. Also moving through there, Chogi on the outside. There he is. So he's one of the main men, I think, for the Kenyan. Quickest lap of the race, 61.35, taking us up to the two-kilometre point in 5.34.17. So they're obviously now starting to pick it up, aren't they? Bikini looks over his shoulder, the big threat there of Abuya and Kipchoge. They're not going to lose. And also Chepkut coming up there as well. So it's Ethiopia, then followed by the two, three Kenyans. So the Kenyans now massing at the top of the field, starting to push it on. I think that's Chep Cook now coming to the fore. Obviously, I think his teammates told him, actually. They looked across at him and said, come on, move it on. And he's doing that. He's almost a sacrificial lamb here because they really are starting to pick the pace up now. And Kipchoge in second place there. Bikaili back in fifth. I mean, nothing to worry about too much yet, but uh, interesting to see uh, why he's drifted back. And no sooner have I said that than suddenly Bikaili decides that he's once again going to take the lead. So Bikaili into the lead with Kipchoge, Chepkuk and Ibuya, the three Kenyans there. Also moving up on the outside is Kip Soro, the Ugandan in the yellow vest. Well, Solinsky, the American, hasn't really put a foot wrong so far. He's covered most of the breaks in the white socks there in about fifth or sixth. Turgen Camp is uh, behind him, the other American, and Lagat also obviously closing ground now, moving ahead in about fourth. Still on the inside, though. Kualia in the purple now moving through the Qatari five laps to go in the 5,000 meters and it's the three kilometer point in 8.14.68 Kenani Sebekeli leading as he has uh, the previous uh, kilometer points and just one man dropped off the back of this field Bekele checking over his shoulder he can see Eliud Kipchoge alongside him and now the Kenyan the classy Kenyan decides that he once again wants to take the lead. It's cat and mouse here between the leading Kenyans and Kenanisa Bekele. Mo Farah from Great Britain now starting to come to the fore. He's coming around the outside with the white glasses. So it's good to see that he's still in contention. And with four laps to go, just one man dropped off. That's Median of Ethiopia with uh, of Eritrea rather, with Birmingham having some trouble trying to stay in contention at the back, the Australian at the back of the pack. So Bekele leading with Kipchoge in second and Kipsora, the Ugandan, up in third. There's Bernard Legat making his presence felt there, the defending champion. Got the bronze in the 1500 metres. He's in fourth place at the moment and as Steve said, Solinsky, the American with the white socks, tucked in, always been in a handy position. 63 second lap there. Well, he's just doing enough, isn't he? Just keeping everybody at bay at the moment. They're looking around. No one has got the courage yet to tackle the big man. They're going to leave it, maybe, until a last lap kick again, which is really playing into his hands. But has he still got the leg speed in his legs after that 10,000 metres? Three laps to go, then, in this men's 5,000 metres. Kenanisa Bekele, the Olympic champion. He leads, but he's got Kipchoge. On his outside, and the Ugandan Kip Soros in there. Defending champion Bernard Legat, he's on the right of your screen there. And a little bit of a breakaway beginning to happen now. Tiny gap there to the lead four, but there are many athletes still in there. And at some stage, Kenanisa Bekele is going to wind it up. Just one kilometre to go, 10.52.22 at 4,000 metres. A 62-plus second lap there. It's getting winding up now. Each kilometre getting quicker. Well, it is getting quicker, but they're not really doing much in terms of destroying this big pack behind him. Three Americans in there. The Kenyans are in there. And the two Ethiopians still hanging on with 
Abdosh at the back. He's been there all the time so far. Lagat spits into the inside. He's getting himself ready. He knows it's going to be a fast 600 or 400 metres, and he's been in the inside all the way, but he's in the perfect position to cover a break by Bekele. Maybe the big three beginning to wind it up. Kenanisa Bekele leads. Eliud Kipchoge in second. Bernard Lagat is in third, and Kip Soro is up on the outside. There's one of the Kenyans. He's had to stop to give up. That's Ibuya. He won't get back into it at this stage. Bekele from Kipchoge, from Lagat from Kipsoro. Still looking relaxed. 61 seconds for that lap. Ibuya's out of it. So Kenanisa Michele, the Olympic champion. He's got Eliud Kipchoge up on his outside. Bernard Lagat is tucked in on the inside. There's Kipsoro. These four may be the class acts, but look on the outside. The other, the other Kenyan, Chet Cook is coming, so too Mo Farah. Farah now, Great Britain, up onto the shoulder of the Ugandan. On the inside there, a Spaniard also coming through with one lap to go now, and they're all in a mass around this track. Seven or eight athletes now starting to charge, but Keeley trying to hold them off at bay. Kipchoge, the man that run him close in Rome, and Lagat looking very comfortable in third place at the moment, but he's boxed on the inside as Kipsoro comes round. But Kayleigh fighting off Eliud Kipchoge. It's Kenanisa Michele, the Olympic champion. He opens up a yard. Bernard Lagat, the defending world champion, is chasing the American. Kenanisa Michele kicks again. Now he gets a break, but Bernard Lagat on the outside is desperately trying to defend his title. What a superb finish. Bernard Lagat, the defending champion, but he's going to lose out to Kenanisa McKinney, the Olympic champion, is the world champion. Lagat settles for the silver and a brilliant bronze for Chip Karui of Qatar. What a superb race. Lagat gave that absolutely everything, but in the end, Bekele's class once again came to the fore. It's a superb double for the man from Ethiopia who just does not know how to be beaten in a major championship. 54-72 for Kenanisa Bekele, and you have to, Steve, I think, hand it to a master. He controlled that race all the way. He obviously didn't want a fast race, and he relied on his sprint finish even over a man like Legat. Yeah, that was that was masterful as you said really Peter. He is really a consummate champion. I would have thought though that at that sort of pace they would have challenged him a bit more, but really he had to dig deep though, he really did, because the gat came past him with about 60 meters or so and looked like he was gonna go away, but then he's dug in again and drew level with the gat and the gat must have thought, no, he's coming back again at me. And at that stage it almost was a, a battle of wills and Bakelli really did his best and came through with that marvellous, marvellous double here in the World Championships. And a fine run by James Qualia Kipturi, the former um, Kenyan, now running for Qatar. But Kenanisa Bekele becomes the first man in World Championship history to win the 5,000 and 10,000 metre double. It's been done in the Olympics, a women's double has been done by Tiranish Dibaba, but never before the men's 5,000 and 10,000 double. And Kenanisa Bekele, of course, is the man to do it. Peter, I know you've seen many great finishes in World Championship history, but Legat gave that absolutely everything. But Kayleigh showed real heart there in the last 30 or 40 metres because the American at one stage looked as though he was going to defend his title. He was ahead, certainly, at one stage, about 50 metres to go. Here Let's we go. look at it. This is the point, really, where I think Beckley comes back at him and Legat starts to just fade a little bit and the little man comes home by just two metres or so in the end. But many would have said this is really set up for Legat um, with his 800, 1500 metres pedigree. But nonetheless, Beckley has got such speed and such resilience that he's able to hold him off, rather in the style of, of course, his uh, mentor, Haile Gebre Selassie. And Legat, of course, a great run again to, to win another major medal. Well, there is confirmation of a brilliant 5,000 metre race. Bekele is the champion. Bernard Lagat just misses out. Silver this time. And James Kwali Chipkarui of Qatar with the bronze. Interesting point about Bekele over that last part of the race. He, he ran 
2.24 for the last thousand, which is the equivalent of running a 3.36, 1,500 metres over the last part of the race. That's why he destroyed them. That's why he got away from Legat. Legat just did not have that leg speed in his legs after running that fast. Uh, and that's a guy who's comfortable over the 1,500 metres, got the bronze medal. If that, that finish reminded you of the... I think, was it the uh, Athens Olympics where he was eyeballs out to uh, look at with um, El Garouge and only just missed out once again?